What's going on guys? My name is DMS here and we're going to be playing some Clash of Clans today. And what we're going to be doing this time around is I'm just going to be showing off to you guys a little bit about my base and I'm going to be showing you guys some replays. So more in depth about my base is just by doing other things is that what I'm going to be doing next as soon as I go back to farming after our clan push I'm going to be upgrading my air defenses, but before that, since I already have this one, level 6, you know what, that'll hold off the, for my whole base. I'm going to be upgrading my clan castle to level 5, since that'll be very vital for war defense. And I don't actually really use it that often to request be for defense, but for offense I do. And I'm going to be just upgrading that to level 5 much to get it out of the way and for war defense that'll help me a bunch because I can that'll give me two whole more wizards so I think that'll be eight wizards and two archers that I could put in my clan castle for defense instead of six wizards and one archer and also what I'm going to be doing is I ha after I get my archers done I'm going to be doing my balloons then I'm going to be doing my giants and I'm going to come over here I'm going to do some probably my Jump spell, heal spell, rage spell, all those spells. And I'll be doing some dark troops. But once I get to, before I get to my dark troops with my dark elixir, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to be using it on my queen and king. I'm going to get them to hopefully level 10 once I get to my dark troops. And by the end of Town Hall 9, I'm, my goal is 15 to 20. And here, I'll show you guys. So if you can tell, last night when I was recording, I was at around 1850 trophies. Now I'm at 2071 because last night, here, oh, defense log, alright, from 16 hours ago, the bottom defense up were all defenses just from last night, and I finally lost one, I'll show you guys this one, I finally lost one because this expo was out of ammo, I'm pretty sure this expo ran out of ammo during this raid, that's how much I got raided. And people looted a bunch of my Dark Elixir last night. Luckily, I don't really care. And so that's a good thing. But pretty much what this guy's doing is... I noticed that a common strategy is just archers and some wizard Or giants and some wizards with some archers in the background. And I don't know how effective that really is. Because it was used on my base a couple of times last night. And I didn't win except for this one. And this guy's just using the giants to take the heat, he has some heal spells, and then he just gets in there, gets the dark elixir, and then ends up getting the two star. There's the one star. Luckily, he had his queen with her ability, so yeah. And now we're going to go back, and I'm going to show you guys an attack I just recently did, so right there. It was on bear from blue steel. And what I did is I wanted to try out a giant healer, so... That's exactly what I did. I used some barbarians at first just for some meat and to get the extra out of outside buildings out of the way. Then I called in my giant and I put my clan castle in, archer queen. And then I'm going to put in some archers after I put in my healers. And also with this raid I had one heal spell and that was just in case my like other troops needed a healing or if my giants needed a, heal a healing themselves. See, now I'm pretty set up, and all I have left is my queen's ability and the heal spell that I can throw down at any given time. So what I'm mainly going to try and go for here is a two-star, but a three-star would be nice. And my, well, my healers were doing pretty well until that air defense started to shoot it down. And So now my giants are just going to lose health consistently, and I'm going to need to he heal spell them pretty soon. And so, we'll just let this play out for a little bit and see what I do. Alright, I heal spelled these giants over here since they were about to die. And that was a good choice. But, in the end, it didn't really matter since if you notice there's 19 seconds left so I'm not going to get the 3 star. I noticed that it wasn't worth my Archer Queen's health and all that so, I just let the 3 star go since I wasn't going to get it. And there we go. So now I'm at 2071, and I'm still going to try to barch my way up, and what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to barch bases that look like this. Here, I'll show you this one. Just barch bases that are like this that I can get a vulnerable town hall from, 
all that. And with my barge, what I'm doing is I'm dropping a row of barbarians, since they are the stronger troop at the moment, out of my barbarians and archers. And I'm going to let them take most of the heat from the defenses, and I'm going to let my archers come in and shoot from the long-range stuff and take out the defenses while my barbarians are taking the heat. And now that I have all my archers called in, and I'm not sure if I have all my barbarians or not, it doesn't look like it, but I may. I don't know. And I also have my clan castle up there. I just dropped my clan castle at random times. But normally what I'll end up doing is I'll drop my row of barbarians and then my archers and then clan castle the rest of my barbarians if I don't drop all my barbarians in one little row. And so now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to get the two star and it's going to be a pretty easy good raid. Just fast forward that through the rest of the raid. And that's about it. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. My name is DMS and please like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to see some more Clash videos and that's it.